or add the column. Now, let us go back to the atomic bomb. She said, picture the son and offer him to the father. Wow. She just dropped the bomb. Concentration. You remember the other day I said that the priest in the new translation says, May my sacrifice yes. and use yes. mine and use. Yes. So you have a sacrifice to offer. What is the sacrifice you offer? You remember? Yourself. Yeah, yourself. You, 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 you have to offer yourself to, to, to God. So this is the altar. You have the fire of the Holy Spirit. You have yourself. You are the sacrifice. You have as well Jesus, you have the Father. How many things we need for worship? An altar, a stone, Jesus, fulcrum. You lean on it. You don't just. If, if I use some uh, very weak table and I, I put all my weight on it, the table will collapse. The author is Jesus because he is carrying all humanity. You understand that a simple table cannot carry all humanity. You need a stone that can carry all humanity. This is why the real stone is Jesus, because he is carrying in him with his love. His charity is so deep, wide, high, and, and large, that he can embrace every human being. So the sacrifice has to lean on the love of Jesus, Jesus being the stone. So the altar is the stone. This is why the priest, when he enters, what does he do? He just kisses the stone. He kisses the stone. Because the stone represents Jesus. He doesn't kiss the tabernacle. He kisses the stone. The center of the celebration is the altar. This is correct celebration and worship. So what happens is that the stone is Jesus. Who is the, 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 um, the priest? Jesus. The only priest, and there is only one priest, there are no many priests, is only one, is Jesus. Jesus. The priest, the minister, the father, no father X, Y, and Z, who celebrates the Mass, of course, he is a different person, he is a privileged person, privileged to serve, not privileged for himself, because he represents Jesus, the head, but he doesn't work for himself, he works for us. This is why St. Augustine says, I am priest for you, I am faithful like you, but I am priest for you, okay? So the priest is for the people. And the priest clarifies this by saying, may my sacrifice and yours. So you are part of the Mass. You are not a minister, but you still use your priesthood, your baptismal priesthood. So the only priest is Jesus who can offer. Is Jesus. So in Jesus we have the priest and in Jesus the body we have each one of us. Are you with me? So to exercise your baptismal priesthood you are invited to offer a sacrifice. What is the sacrifice you are offering? Yourself. The priest as well himself. He has to offer himself. Okay? So what is in green here, Jesus, and another green here, is myself. And he offers it up to the power of the Holy Spirit that will lift and burn and elevate to the Father. So the arms of Jesus and the Holy Spirit elevate and offer. So you reunite 
what wasn't united, you reunite this green thing, sacrifice, to the Father. So, myself, you, uh, all the world, because the priest is mentioning that, you remember, the priest says what? Now, after he consecrated the, 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 the body and, and blood of Jesus, he starts to pray. He prays for the whole church. The church has different layers. You have people who are already with God. So he starts with Mary, Joseph, the saints, today's saints, the saint patron of this church, etc. So the saints. And the angel, but the saints. Then you have the people who die, but we don't know if they are rich or, or, or not, so we have to pray for them. So we pray for the dead. The saints are the dead as well, but the saints are already reached to God. The others we don't know. They might be already with God, they might not. So we have, we all them pray. So we pray for them. And then we pray for whom? All the people on, on earth. We start from uh, Pope, uh, uh, bishops, uh, priests, uh, deacons, uh, consecrated, whoever, all of us. And in the prayer, in the third prayer, it says, all the people who are your sons but who are scattered around the world, you, see, you still have to bring them. So what are we doing here? We are bringing, concentrate with me please, during the Mass, the priest is doing what? Bringing all these people in, in the body of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. He is introducing, naming all these people to put them in. The bread, the, the, the body, it's not bread anymore, it's the body and blood of Jesus. This is why when he ends, when he finishes that work, mentioning everybody, mentioning means bringing in. What does he do? He elevates. This movement is fundamental. This is worship. What does he say? With him, through him, in him. To you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor. What is he doing? He is performing worship. This is, this is the highest point. He puts everybody in the chalice and everybody in the, how do you call it, the, the, pat, the pattern. And what does he do? He does something that he can't do as a human being. He is too heavy. The priest cannot do that. It's only Jesus can do that. Which is elevating with a power that nobody has. Elevating all these people, reuniting them to the Father. Okay? So, now, this movement happened on the cross. Because the base of everything is what is happening on the cross. Well, on the cross, what is happening? You see why I put the, just the priest, the, Jesus the priest, and the cross coinciding one on the other. You see it. You see it. Why? Because on the cross, Jesus is doing it. But now, what is the priesthood that Jesus is performing on the cross? Just think of it. All the people, he is bringing them in him. You remember that? We explained that. And he does what? He is reuniting them to the Father. With what? With the power of the, the Holy Spirit. Are you with me? Yeah. This is what is happening on the cross. On the cross, the correct reunion Forget a little bit about the sacrifice, just use the word reunion instead of nothing wrong with the sacrifice, but just to clarify. Because sacrifice is like we don't understand it, because we don't have this culture. But what does it mean, sacrifice? Sacrifice is offering. Sacrifice is elevating. It's put, putting a victim. Or putting an offering. So this offering would reach then God. Only God can reach God. Only you in Christ can reach the Father. So what is the Christ doing? He is offering his body because you became his body. And he is offering his body himself to the Father. He only has this power, his capacity to, to do it. 
So when Theresa of Avila says, picture or visualize the son, and then offer it to the father, she said everything. But it's so nothing for our understanding that you read it and you, and you continue. But she just dropped an atomic bomb. Let us read again this last sentence. For hidden, for hidden there with itself, for the soul being hidden, like entering inside with itself, it can think about the passion, picture of the sun, think about passion, think about the cross, picture of the sun, like today we would say visualize, and what? Do what with the sun? Just watch him, say, oh Jesus, I love you. Offer him to the Father. Well, if you, if, you, if you go to the church next Sunday and uh, invite each faithful, say, well, please could you offer the Son to the Father? What? What? It's nothing. Do you see how it is nothing? But at the same time, it's everything. It's nothing because we do not relate to it. We don't see ourselves in the story. What does it mean to offer the Son to the Father? She says, offer it to the Father. So she, is, she is exercising her, uh, her baptismal priesthood. She can offer the Son. Well, you are the Son as well. So she can offer the Son or, and everybody in the Son, like with the priest. Like exactly what the priest says in the, in the church, in the Mass. What does he say? May my sacrifice and your sacrifice. So Teresa of Avila is saying, I'm doing my sacrifice. I'm offering my sacrifice. My sacrifice is to offer the Son to the Father. It looks like nothing. What is this? But this is everything. Because you need to introduce and see everything in him. Everybody in him. Wow, you are, it's an explosion. You are freeing energy in the world when you do that. You are allowing people to reconnect with God. But when you say it like that plainly, when please could you offer, please could you well, go next next Sunday and knock at the at the, the like at the shoulder of your your, your, your brothers and sisters at mass and say, shall we offer the son to the father? <laughs> <laughs> what this is the thing. we are going to the church to do that, and you can do it now. You can do it at any time because this is a prayer of the heart as well. It is the great performing, realizing, enacting your baptismal priesthood. It looks absolutely simple, almost nothing, but it's, we don't have anything else to do in life than offering the sun. But you see that the sun is much bigger than the, the sun. Are you with me? When she says offer the sun to the Father in the sun, it's a, it's a big story. It's the, the history of all humanity is in the sun. So it's something very handy as well. It's not just Little Jesus offering to little father. No, it's big Jesus, huge Jesus, carrying everybody within his love. And then you offer it to, to, to the father. So what, what is happening? You are reuniting by the grace of the, the baptismal priesthood because it is not your power. Only Jesus can, can offer himself to the father. Are you with me? When she should say, only Jesus can offer himself to the Father. And you are allowed in, because you are baptized, you can exercise this power, this capacity, and then you can change the world. So you see how prayer of the heart is ministry. Just a second. You see how prayer of the heart is ministry. In the book, my book that will come out hopefully, hopefully soon, you need to pray. You need to pray. Because you need translation, correction, blah, 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 blah printing, etc. We need to talk about the printing after. So, <laughs> in, in this book, uh, I, I do mention that. I do mention the, the baptismal priesthood, that the prayer of the heart is an exercise of baptismal priesthood. You have that in your hands. I, I didn't invent it. It's, it's just offered to us. Okay? So we use it, and, and, and the core of it is what is happening on the cross. You see where I put the cross? The priest is standing in front of the altar. I put the cross. I planted the, planted the cross just there. Because this is where it is. So when you go to church, it's not just I went to Mass. No. Did you offer your sacrifice? Oh, that will change everything. 
you need to stand out of the church when they come out. Did you offer your sacrifice? Tink, did you offer it? <laughs> no. No. You see? You go to us, why? You have an office. You have something to do. Bring everything. Your whole week. As it was. Your whole family. Your tears. Your joys. Everything should be put in him. And this action, he's waiting for it. He cannot do it. But God, he can do it everything. No! He waits for you. May my sacrifice and your sacrifice be acceptable to God. Remember this. Your sacrifice. You see? So when we go to Mass, it's just, oh, I, 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 did, I went to, to the Mass on, on, on Sunday. So I'm fine. What did you do to the Mass? Ah, we, we, we were well, lovely. The priest said, fabulous homily. Yeah, okay, fine. And then what? Well, that's it. I received the communion and then I gave back. Oh, really? That's it. Did you offer your sacrifice? Offer my sacrifice? It's the priest who is celebrating. He's doing everything. I just watch and sing. <laughs> the story. You see the mechanism, how it is different. Okay? So please, let us be in the 21st century theology, understanding our place in the Mass correctly. Okay? Uh, yes, please? You, you understand? I need, I need six more days to finish that. <laughs> Can you speak stronger? Because the recording <laughs> and the thing needs to. I'm saying it makes a difference on the mass. The way I look at it, yeah. like also on the divine mercy prayer, which um, Jesus reveals to Saint Faustina, that eternal Father, it's me praying that eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearest Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for my sins and those of the whole world. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we say things we don't really think about the mm -hmm. theology uh, mm -hmm. behind uh, these things. Thank you. Thank you for uh, making the, joining the, the dots and, and the connection with, with things, prayer we do say. Um, um, now we have uh, Saint Faustina, we didn't have her like 20 years ago as a saint or something, but and now we, 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 we repeat this prayer, yeah, we offer you God. This, this is the Mass, mm -hmm. uh, we offer you, but what is to offer? And it's not only the body, the blood, etc. Now you, 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 you see, remember, the priest, again, I'll say it again, the priest covers all creatures that are available. He doesn't cover the, the future ones, but sometimes you could, I mean, if you want. I know a nun, Carmelite nun, who was praying for the future. If you want, please, you want to go up on top of time, why not? But he, he grabs all the past, all till, till now. People who died, who are with God, people who, are, who maybe are not with God, we pray for all these guys, and then we pray for the actual ones everywhere. All your sons and daughters scattered all over the world. He names them. Okay? And we shouldn't go very fast to the last sentence, which is, with all your brothers who are scattered somewhere. This is one of the last sentences, which, like, which means the guys who are not yet Christians. This is a big sentence. This is half of the Mass. Because half of the Christians are not Christian yet. Are you with me? Yes. How many billions are not Christian today? So this is the other half of the Mass. We just think of ourselves. This is so egoistical. So egoistical to think only about ourselves. We are Christians. And the rest who are supposed to be Christian are not Christian because of you. What do you do? So the, the priest shouldn't run on this last sentence. This last sentence is very heavy. When he says, and all the, I don't remember now in English how to say it, but all the ones who are not yet, we understand between the lines who are not Christian yet. But this is, this is, this is the main thing. We bring all this in you. So when you offer, your soul, your body, etc. You remember when we studied uh, Jesus, the, Jesus, the whole Jesus, the big Jesus, ahead, and the, the, the total Jesus, 
you remember that when you hear that day. Head and body. So when you offer Jesus, it's not just the single head Jesus. We cannot separate, decapitate the head from the body. So when you offer Jesus, you are offering everybody. You are offering yourself, you are offering your brothers, sisters, it's like in the Mass. May your sacrifice be acceptable to God. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, shall we stop for five minutes? And then we will have a picture, and then we will continue. Um, thank you. Have the candles on.